today. We're driving this beautiful Honda Civic. Should have been done a long time ago, but today is finally the day. This car is one of those that people haven't really covered too much of, to be completely honest with you, because it was ridiculously fast. But I have a, a suspicion that I might enjoy it quite a lot. You may remember the video we made of the fastest car in Need for Speed Heat, at least at the time. That's what it definitely felt like. In fact, I think it still could possibly be. The boost that does nothing. <laughs> I think this could be one of the most fun, fast hatches in the game. And so without further ado, I'm going to be building this today. We're actually getting a little bit obsessed with some hatches recently, and you'll find out a little bit more as to why soon. We're doing a stream, don't worry. Normally, when we jump in to do the performance modifications to the car, we will have one engine in the video. Well, this video, I decided that I'm going to do two. The reason is, the rule of Need for Speed states that if no weight is go fast. And honestly, I don't really know what engine to go for because two of these, one of them, is a flat six, which will sound very familiar. And we've got a V8 which doesn't really sound like a V8 at all. So I want to decide between these two, and honestly, I couldn't. The stats are kind of close. This one makes me think it would be a better choice just because the points are quite low, but at the same time, I think we could boost it. So we're going to try both engines. We're going to start with the flat six, and we're going to max this bad boy out, and then we're going to jump to the new engine as well. Now, interestingly, I have yet to even put the turbo in, and we're already at three eight five that is pretty damn quick the seven speed actually just reduced performance i need to i guess we'll have a play with that we'll go for the five speed for now and then the differential can we get to 400 before we put the turbo in no we're so damn close but that is ridiculous the five speed seems to be good as long as the top speed is going to be enough now for the turbo then which definitely propels us past 400 i'd be interested to see exactly how far past but we've got to make it look beautiful before we get started and that honestly is very easy with the Civic. This car is beautiful. I love to race the hell out of this thing because it looks fantastic. You know me, Hood Bram G. Mate, this is going to look proper shake going on proper beds in it, mate, down the road, proper rev banging. I was going to say me VTEC, but the VTEC has now gone and we've got a Porsche boy. Please tell me they still got my wing. Oh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's unnecessary. It's stupid. It's absolutely, in fact, the opposite of useful which makes it fan bloody tastic. Now, we're going to have to do some bolt on for the rear because that's all we can get, but we can hopefully get some smooth kind of looking arches. Uh, you know what? We're going to go for the bolt on. Full bolt on, you know it. And then the lights, mate. Oh, yes, they've got the taped lights on this, thankfully. It's a shame that they don't have the tape lights in combination with some of the colors. I'm so confused. Stop! Stop it, community! You know full well this car deserves better than that. Holy crap! That is disrespectful jank. Fine, I'll accept it. I'll accept it and paint it my damn self. Why the no color sticker bomb? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I love the way this thing looks. It's just so stupid, right? Let's get it. Holy crap. Yeah, this is gonna be fast. I can already feel it's gonna feel fast. It's only gonna bloody plow through. We haven't even got the best engine yet, we think. I'm assuming that this is gonna be they're not as fast engine. We'll find out exactly very shortly, but my goodness me, it holds 200 pretty damn well. And we haven't even touched the boost yet. Holy, we need to do, a, we need to get off that camera. We need to do a race. Race I've chosen is an event that I, it's the only bloody event I play in this game right now for money. I know, he's always talking about that bloody money, that pants man, Maji. Listen here, Sonny, M money makes my need for speed videos better. All right, that's what we do. So, I want to see how quick we can get around this event. I know this event like the back of my hand is the only analogy I can think of. So let's get it stop. Let's get it popping. I'm probably going to crash right at the beginning like I always do. But we're just comparing me against me. And that's something I, I have to mention quite often. A lot of people obviously come to the channel like, oh, it depends on the driver. It depends on the driver. Oh, this, this is actually the fastest car. The RSR is the fastest. There ain't no doubt about it. We already know that we've done so many tests, no matter what. Oh my God, it doesn't turn. Let's just pretend that I knew it was front wheel drive and my foot got stuck. Well, there's our first problem against the RSR. Right there is the turnability. It's a handbreaker. Okay, let's have a little bit of a play with the live tuning. Should help us out a little bit. More steering, less 
downforce. <laughs> I've got proper down. I don't need any more downforce. I've got the most downforce in the world with the best wing ever. Oh! Still doesn't turn very well. It's acceptable. Ah! Remember, I said, if his light is fast. Hang oh, hang on. Do you see that slide? It pops a slide. It doesn't make his front wheel drive. The logic of need for speed. It's just kind of crazy sometimes. Absolutely. Nos! Get that speed back up. Anyway, as I was saying, there are better drivers than me, but that's not the point. It's very easy to say, oh, of course, there's always going to be a better driver than the person you're watching. Even if this person tries and tries and tries about 20 times, they're going to still be about their same level. That's what we're comparing. Not if I can set the fastest time. It's that, can I compare this time to my time in the other car? It's where some huge factors play into need for speed because it's always been the case. Sure, you can have a car that is ridiculously, ridiculously fast. But if someone can't, like me, that's... Uh, I play the game every bloody day. I may not be the best. But if this person cannot use this car properly after playing Need for Speed for a career for a long time, but he can drive something else faster, it kind of tells a lot. A less serious tone. <laughs> this is just mental. The speed of this thing. Five gears is enough any more and it would properly ruin this car it would ruin it honestly and i like the sound because you could believe it's and not you could believe that it's a civic engine but you could believe it's a little raspy boy i even had to handbrake for that damn corner there and across the line into the wall for some reason and ask you to do this did i need for speed no we got a 259 which am i gonna tell you how well that, how good that is i can't tell you to be honest because <laughs> because i don't know but it's a 259 on my second run in that event. And uh, comparison, 248 in the RSR. Pro the RSR. You see, normally what happens with these videos is I'm out of pocket by the end of them. Uh, but this time, things are a little bit different because obviously... I, I'm still swapping in there. We're still doing the event. Okay, so the potential horsepower gains over this engine are 49. <laughs> Great. Uh, I'm actually going to buy a new set of Ultimate Plus parts. We could properly compare the stats top trump style. Uh, and that means we're now going to have to spend a lot of money on all these parts. But... It does mean I have a new selection of <laughs> Ultimate Plus parts because I do like to keep some Ultimate Plus parts on some cars, if you didn't know. Which uh, I just realized, I guess I'm going to take them off both engines, aren't I? So it seems like with this engine as well, the dual turbos is the way to go. Power is 5.9 and overall everything else is the same. Let's see if a gear... Oh, the four speed improves acceleration on this one. Let's have a look at the toggle stats page. We drop one mile an hour. So I think we might actually downgrade to the four speed. We lose... A very mere one mile an hour on the top speed, but let's be real, we're, we're not going to be sat at that for very long because when we need to turn, this thing is not so great. So, we can now go to our inventory and compare the engines together. Every stat <laughs> is decreased. The 0 to 60 is the same. It doesn't change. It seems that weight doesn't really have an effect. The engines don't have weight, if that makes sense. I think that's something Need for Speed should work on in the future. I think if they're going to try to be a bit more serious with the engine swap stuff, maybe having the weight added by an engine swap is something to consider because we're going to a V8. Anyway, let's go and have a see. Now, if this, re if this top trump statification actually does make a change. Do you remember how I said it didn't really sound like a V8 before? It's still... Uh, what, what noise is this from? I know everyone already knows. It feels faster. The acceleration feels faster. We are in third gear, just flying through. These gears are so long, it's kind of ridiculous. But it sounds more like a McLaren kind of V8, like a like a uh, hyper, not hyper, sports car V8. But anyway, let's get on with the business. Get this car popping off. Damn, that's a hot boy. You can tell me all you want that that A-Class is a hatchback, but that is a freaking SUV, mate. Ridiculous. Get out my way. Well, is this is going to improve any turnability. Is the live tuning reset? No, it hasn't. Thank the Lord, because that would make it quite unfair in comparison. Now, turnability was an issue with the last engine. Is it the same? Yeah. Ghost. Drivetrain swaps, please. I think that's a really good idea and something that they should consider. So, obviously, Forza has drivetrain swaps and engine swaps. Here's one other area I would love to see a difference. Something that only Gran Turismo, to my knowledge, does. I would love to see a gearbox swap. And you're like, 
Well, that's already kind of in the game. Yes, but I would love to see the type swap. So if it's a manual car, you can upgrade it to an auto, as in like a, you know, a, a decent one. But then you can upgrade it to sequential. That, I think, would be a pretty cool upgrade path to see a difference between... It would make a huge difference, I think, for some of the lower-end cars. Just, mate, that would be cool. Add that element. Please, ghost, I'm begging. There seems to be some certain elevation changes that cause this car to slide sometimes. It, it's very, very rare that it will, unless you provoke it with a little bit of yeet, the yeet break. <laughs> oh, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. Look at that. It might even be worth putting <laughs> drag tires on this car. Is there, like, the turnability is crap. No matter what, it's going to improve acceleration a little bit more. It ain't going to decrease turnability, I can tell you that. This car is one of those that is quick, and it could be one of the quicker cars. But I feel like the turnability is the issue at hand. Which is an issue with a lot of cars, to be I think quite a few cars would beat the RSR if we had the chance to turn like the damn RSR. That may be the blooming issue. Who's down the same straight? I'm a predictable man. I think we're going to top out. I think we are topping out. I think the 233 was the top speed, wasn't it? So here we are coming into the finish. It does feel like this is the faster engine, which would make sense. Considering the fact that it is. It's a bloody V8. It's a nice sounding modern one too. The 257. <laughs> engine swaps do make a difference. But I'm going to say it pre you can probably tell by looking at the stats of the engine you're gonna throw in as to what the results are gonna be. It's, it's, I know it's quite, it's just something I haven't really played with yet. So I thought that's what we'd play with today. But yeah, there you go, the Civic. And overall, a very fun little car. I'm very happy with this. I am going to now jump in and go to the do, 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 the performance because I do really want to throw on some drag tires and, and test my theory, as I said before. And uh, also I want to see if it does wheelies. <laughs> Is it gonna do wheelies? It's a front-wheel drive car. It might do those weird standstill wheelies. Oh, yeah, you got a NOS to get the wheelie, haven't you? Come on! Oh, it doesn't wheelie. It just goes really slow. <laughs> but no, will the turnability be awful? Honestly, it makes it a bit more uh, tough to turn minutely. Because I'm hitting everything. We've got a fast turn coming up. Can we get it? Oh, it does. It ruins the turnability even more. So I'm going to be honest. Would not recommend. <laughs> Wheelie! It does lift very, very slightly. <laughs> oh, good God. All right, be sure to smash the like, subscribe. You know, I'll see you in the next Need for Speed Heat video. You know what I'm saying? Till next time, peace. Oh.